Okay, well, let me show you some of the materials uh, that that I've used. And I got this idea from somebody. I don't remember whether it was uh, in a magazine or or a YouTube video, but this is a a barrel of a of a cheap ballpoint pen. And uh, this 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 particular one is a Bic Crystal. I like the the transparent color there. One point six millimeter. I think that's the ballpoint tip. And what I've done here is to pull the tip and the, the the ink tube just out of there easily with a pair of pliers. And then to use this material, which as you see here is nicely hexagonal, to uh, cut into various lengths and to use those for standoffs. Let me show you how I do that. Here's some other material that I'm going to show you that I've used. This is polystyrene that comes from the hobby shop. This is Evergreen Scale Models brand strip styrene. These are these are tubes here, seven thirty seconds and five thirty seconds in diameter. You can get these at a at a hobby shop, a lot of different hobby shops. I got this one. Uh, where they sell a lot of uh, model railroad stuff. But you can see that uh, the smaller one here fits inside the uh, larger one fairly, fairly uh, readily here. Let me get that into position. That just slides right in there. And there's a little bit of, little bit, tiniest bit, little bit of wiggle in there, but that, otherwise it slips in pretty nicely. And what I did was to, to pull it almost all the way out here, and then use some liquid uh, plastic cement, this stuff here, testers plastic cement. And I would, uh, I would uh, run some, this is just a solvent solvent type and just run it uh, along here and shoving it in a little at a time spinning it around here so that it you know uh, put some more on shove it in spin it around until the whole length is in there and you kind of have to move quickly because this stuff uh, the solvent type glue will will grab but I, I didn't have too much trouble getting uh, getting that the whole thing glued inside the, the smaller tube glued inside the larger tube I I can say I'm gonna to have to do something about my video focusing here but now I thought about using super glue for that and there are some super glues that are slower setting that you could probably successfully do that with but I I didn't and I just glued up one here with now what you see is is a is a hole size there that I can then take and tap using a cheap uh, see once again I've misplaced uh, stuff I put it so that oh here it is it's right here uh, here's a uh, a 632 tap in a cheap Harbor Freight handle here and I'm able to just take it like this and keeping it try to keep it aligned and then just screw that onto there and back it off every once in a while and get rid of some of those chips screw it back on and you know depending on on your use you don't really have to get that too deep in there I use short screws so now you have one end uh, threaded and I'll show you then what you uh, what you can do at this point. Okay, you see here this really cool uh, thing that I've owned for longer than I can remember. It's uh, it's put out by Exacto. It's just a little miter box that works along with uh, Exacto razor saw things like this. A very thin thin blade on that see if I can get that it's just really well it's called a razor saw for for a reason 
And like a lot of miter boxes, the bigger ones that you might use for woodworking, this one will, will hook over the, the edge of the bench here. And then I can take my uh, material. In this case, it'll be uh, this stuff that I threaded already. And I can lay it in here. I'll, I'll put it back here so you can see it. I, I need a different video set up, ideally. But you could put a stop here so that it goes against the stop. I, I haven't done that. I'm just, gonna, I'm just demonstrating it here for you. And uh, that would be at the length you want it. And then just take your razor saw and the uh, best thing is to put it on the opposite end, but I'm just going to do it like this to show you. Cut through there. Doesn't take much. And now you have the one end that has already been threaded. I already threaded that. Now you have this end. And I like to take, uh, you know, an X-Acto knife and just kind of clean that, you know, flash off a little bit. Now you can take this and thread this end in exactly the same way. It's a little bit more awkward to get it in straight. But uh, back it off, get those chips out of there. And you don't really need to use fluid cutting fluid I suppose you could if you wanted uh, something compatible with the plastic but the plastic's pretty slippery anyway pretty soft and uh, just get that in as far as as uh, the length of your screw and now you've got a standoff here that has been threaded on both on both ends and in this case it's threaded with uh, 532 and uh, can't find my 532 screw, so I can't show you that. But that's uh, that's one way. Now with with the uh, material from the cheap ballpoint pens, you can see there that 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 opening is just way too big. I don't know what size screw that would be. That's uh, that's almost that's almost quarter of an inch uh, in there. Uh, so you can't thread that and I suppose you could like I did the other slide a, a, a bigger a bigger tube in there uh, that that doesn't fit right but uh, so this would seem to be uh, more useful for standoffs that aren't threaded and you can cut this in exactly in exactly the same way this time I'm gonna I'm gonna put it against the the back fence here because it's easier to, to work. Go ahead and cut that, saw that down, and uh, and now you've got just a simple tube type of, of standoff. And once again, I like to take the uh, X-Acto knife and kind of scrape, scrape around there and, uh, you know, clean it up just a little bit. Now, of course, because it's not threaded, you have to end up then using a nut either on the the PC board side or on the uh, the bottom of the enclosure like you see like you see here really really cheap standoff now, these are cheap enough uh, you can get this tubing for I think it was four dollars so let's see what does it say here uh, three uh, 360 for uh, for this and the other one I think was about the same so for seven dollars you get 14 inches and depending on the you know the length of your uh, standoffs you could get you know at least uh, a couple of dozen out of that so that's that's still pretty cheap but these things these things are, are really cheap you might even have a few of these laying around or you use them up because I Frankly, never found them to be very high quality pens in the first place. And then you can just uh, cut them up into, into standoffs and get some really cheap uh, standoffs uh, for your uh, projects. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, not just for fabulous projects, but for little things like this that you put together uh, for development or testing purposes.